Ladies and gentlemen, all U.S. military branches have been struggling for recruits. You know, those same people that said we disrespect military vets. See, their butts wouldn't dare join at all. But they're going to sit in your face talking like that. Unbelievable, right? Well, the Army is actually cutting the force size, which is an unprecedented move because of the lack of recruits. And it's not just the army. Right now, every single branch of the military in America is lacking recruits. So the army is significantly cutting the total number of soldiers it expect to have in the force over the next two years. The US military faces what top general called unprecedented challenges in bringing in recruits Army officials on Tuesday said the service will fall about 10,000 soldiers short of its planned end strength for this fiscal year, and prospects for next year are even grimmer. Army uh, General Joseph Martin, Vice Chief of Staff for the Army, said it is projected to have a force of 466,400 this year down from the expected 476,000. And the service could end 2023 with between 445,000 and 452,000 soldiers, depending on how well recruiting and retention goes. With just two and a half months to go in the fiscal year, the Army has achieved about 50% of its recruiting told a total of 60,000 soldiers. So they only got 30,000 instead of the 60,000 they wanted. Uh-huh. So this is according to Lieutenant Colonel Randy Farrell, a spokeswoman for the Army Secretary, Christine Wormuth. And... It's based on the numbers and trends. It is likely the Army will miss by a total of 25% as of October 1st. If the shortfalls continue, Martin said, they could have an impact on readiness. Yeah, you know, <laughs> wait, you know, you know what times we're in, right? America could not be in worse shape. Look at how much they shipped over to Ukraine. And they're not even reaching their goals in recruiting here. Wow. We've got unprecedented challenges with both a uh, post-pandemic environment. We're not post-pandemic. That pandemic is still going on. And a labor market, but also competition with private companies that have changed their incentives over time, Martin told a House Army Service Subcommittee on Tuesday. And they were asking if the Army will, you know, make any adjustments to its force structure to meet national security and war fighting missions around the world, Martin said. We don't need to do that immediately. This is what he is saying. But if we don't arrest the decline, I think he means address, okay, the decline that we're seeing now, in the end, it could possibly be a problem in the future. Cutting the size of the army right now is the best option. The Army is facing our most challenging recruiting environment since the inception of the all-volunteer force. This is not a one-year challenge. We will not solve this overnight, she said, adding that the service is looking at a wide range of steps to recruit more soldiers without lowering standards and sacrificing quality. We're facing a very fundamental question, she said. Do we lower standards to meet end strengthening or do we lower end strengthen to maintain a quality and professional force? We believe the answer is the obvious, 
quality is more important than quantity. The Army recruiting problems are the most severe across the military, but the other services are having a tough time finding young people who want to join and can meet the physical, mental, and moral requirements. Senior Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps leaders have said they are hopeful that they will meet or just slightly miss their recruiting goals for this year. But they said they will have to dip into their pool of delayed entry applicants, which will put them behind as they begin the next recruiting year. The services begin in recruits all year round, but usually send them to basic training and boot camp over a spread out period of time. The delay can help recruits prepare for entry level training and meet more physical demands. Military leaders are also banking on cash as incentives as they are spending tens of thousands of dollars in increased bonuses and woo recruits, hoping to compete with other employers around the country as unemployment sits at about 3.6%. In January, the Army, for the first time, began offering a, minimum, a maximum bonus of $50,000 to highly skilled recruits to join for six years. This is uh, Major General Kevin Vereen, head of Army Recruiting Command, told the Associated Press that shattered, uh, okay, so they were hit really bad. Now they were already struggling with recruits prior to the pandemic. After the lockdown was over, they are struggling even worse than they did before. And it has never gotten better from that point on. Compounding the problem is the low unemployment rate and the fact that private corporations may be able to pay more to lure workers. Among young people, only 23% are physically, mentally, and morally qualified to serve without receiving some type of waiver. Well, I anticipate, y'all, this will get worse in the future. It will never get better. It will never get better. It, it was already bad before the pandemic and the lockdown, it's going to get even worse as we start moving in these next few years. People are not going to consider going into military. You know, they'll run around talking about they support the flag, they support the vets, but I'll be damned if they join the military. They won't do it. Those same people talking like that, they won't do it. So we'll keep an eye on this. Because this is a thing, you know, especially if you know the prophecies that are happening right now as I speak. And you got people that won't even consider going into the military as an option anymore. But y'all, please tell me what you think. And pardon the sound if you hear some noise in the background. It is 97 degrees. It is hot as a mm, out here. And we're going to be in triple digits for the whole weekend. And I am not looking forward to it at all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.